Let's talk a little bit about the idea of being perfect. or following a plan perfectly, or eating perfectly, or exercising perfectly. I just want you to know that this doesn't exist. We don't live in a perfect world with controlled conditions where everything can go your way every time. There are going to be all kinds of situations where your workout isn't what you wanted it to be, or doesn't go perfectly. And then same thing with your nutrition. Sometimes when you're trying so hard to make it perfect, it ends up just leading to frustration and then you throwing your hands in the air and just giving up on the whole thing because it's just so far from perfect. But I need you to get this through your head. Perfection is not the goal when you're living lean. It can't be the goal because it isn't possible. None of us are perfect. No situation is perfect. No workout is ever going to be perfect. It just has to be the best that it can be. And as long as you're putting in the effort and you're doing the very best that you can with the situation that you have, you can enjoy great results and you can have an amazing outcome. It might not be a perfect outcome, but it can be a blow your mind amazing outcome. So one of the things that has really helped me along my journey, especially after having kids, this is such a big thing, guys. When you have kids, it does become harder you're gonna be less likely to be able to make it to the gym whenever you want. Even when you do make it to the gym, you can't spend all day there. You have to be quick in and out so you can get back to your kids. I sometimes get frustrated, like I'm being 100% honest with you, that some days when I wish that I could go to the gym, I get frustrated. And sometimes it makes me wanna skip my workout altogether. If you follow me on social media, then you probably have seen I'm following Formula for Women right now. And as I'm entering phase two, I've been feeling this this week because phase two is a pyramid um, type workout where you go up in weight and then back down in weight. And when I'm working out at home, the only dumbbells that I have are tens. So I have really limited options of what different variations of weight I can use. But yesterday I had this experience. I was like, I really wish I could do this at the gym. And I just kind of sat and stewed in that kind of like disappointment and frustrating feelings for a bit. And then I snapped out of it and I was like, you know what? I can't go to the gym today, that's okay, I'm with the kids all day and it just, it's so difficult sometimes, I don't feel like taking them to childcare so I was like, I am going to make the best of what I have and I'm going to get creative and I'm going to use some of my resistance bands and I'm going to make this workout work. And you know what? At the end of it, I felt incredible. Not only did I feel stronger, I felt more empowered. I felt proud of myself for being creative. And I had a really good workout. Like surprisingly, a lot of muscle tension. It felt like every bit as good as it would have been if I did make it to the gym. So I just wanted to share that with you because I think this could be a really powerful mindset shift for you if you keep on running into that wall of like, it's not perfect so I quit or it's not perfect so I might as well not try. It's not supposed to be perfect. I need you to know that in your heart that you just have to do the best that you can today, which is the only thing that you can control is today and the future. You can't control the past. Focus on what you can do, use your creativity, and just try. Just give it some effort. And when you do give effort and you do try every day and you consistently take steps in a forward direction, that's when you see the results that you wanna see. So I hope you enjoy these little tips and tidbits of how I made my pyramid set workout work. If you're following Formula for Women or if you have in the past, you'll probably recognize this workout. It's PR2 from phase two. One of my favorite things about Formula for Women is the warm up and cool down use zero equipment. So you don't have to worry about finding a treadmill that's open or like needing any special stuff to do your warm up and cool down. You can do them wherever you are, just using your body. The first exercise in this workout is the standing shoulder press and to do five sets in pyramid style, you work up to your heaviest weight on the third set and then back down. So I did my first set just with the dumbbells only. My second set, I used this pink resistance band to make a medium weight. And then on my third set, I used the yellow resistance band to make it as challenging as possible. And then I worked my way back down.
Walking lunges are next. My first set, I just did body weight only. And then my second set, I did dumbbells only. On my third set, I added this weighted vest and the dumbbells to make it as challenging as possible for only six reps per leg. The third exercise is renegade rows. And to make this more challenging, I added a loop resistance band around my dumbbells so that I would have a little bit more resistance as I'm pulling them up towards my shoulder. So here's what it looks like. And I think I actually preferred this version as opposed to going up in dumbbells. I liked the way that this provided resistance. It was a different feeling and it felt good. It was easier to control the weight back down, but you feel the maximum resistance at the top, which is awesome. If you want some loop resistance bands like this, check the description box. I have the link to the ones I like. For the sit-ups on the bench, I did my first set of 15 reps with no added weight. And then my second set, I just used one dumbbell and then my third set I used both dumbbells like this and instead of a bench I just used my chaise lounge which was quite comfortable actually and then for the pullovers I used the same bench but laying uh, crossways instead and for this one I just used the same dumbbells for all of the sets because I couldn't really figure out a good way to make this one more challenging I tried using the bands but it was awkward so I just used 20 pounds for all sets so I hope by now you're getting the idea that you can do formula for women without the gym I've had hundreds of women follow it just for from home only just using the equipment that they have investing in a small amount of home equipment just one set of dumbbells even and a set of bands if you want these bands check the link in the description box below I actually have 20% off of these specific ones that I like to use it's a set of four so it gives you lots of resistance options so you can pick up a set of those and just one set of dumbbells at least and then you're good to go for the entire program as much as I do want to see you going to the gym at least sometimes I totally understand if you for some reason don't want to or can't then I get it and that's why I made this program doable for everyone. So the link for those bands also the loop resistance bands and formula for women are all in the description box down below so scroll down to check them out and get on this program right away. If you start right now we'll be following it together. Thanks for being cool buddy. Now here is an awesome five exercise metabolic circuit training workout that you can do to get outdoors and have a good time with your swole mate. Hold up, if you have these crazy nighttime cravings for junk food, here's a little hack that's gonna get you through it. Boom! Green tea and a tablespoon of nut butter. Works every time. Oh God. Cheers. Hey, Lily Nation, I have the must-have kitchen items right here. Number one, get yourself a good frying pan. Number two, glass food storage containers are everything when you're cooking in bulk and taking your dinners for lunch. Number three, come on, everybody needs a blender in their kitchen. Number four, I got a food scale. You don't have to use it every day, but when you're in your beginning journey, it's an amazing thing. And the last one, which is a bonus one, is a slow cooker. And I also have three more over on the blog, must have kitchen items. Go check it out, link in the bio. And today's subscriber winner.
Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Make sure you guys subscribe because every week there's a new chance to win. And we will be picking a winner for the 60 minute swag as well. So if you didn't win the subscriber, make sure you give yourself another shot and go down and leave a comment within the first hour of this video upload. If you got to the video late and it's already past the first hour, then you can try again on next week's. Make sure that you are subscribed with those notifications turned on so that you'll be told right away when a new video is up and then you can immediately go and comment for your chance to win a free program. By the way, if you said you wanted to see Coach Brad's 15 minute follow along, you're in luck because we're gonna be uploading it this week. So stay tuned to this channel and you'll be following Brad in that awesome total body workout very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching and keep living lean.